What's going on, guys? Today we are taking a look at the other two rescue bot Dinobots, Boulder and Chase. We have Boulder here on the left and Chase here on the right. The reason this review is later than I would have liked is because I haven't been able to find these guys in store. I wasn't going to pay the astronomical prices that the vendors online were asking for it. To be honest, I was not willing to pay that amount. So here we have the Triceratops and the Stegosaurus. Each one of these guys has a little gimmick. Chase has this tail wagging gimmick that when you push down on his tail, his uh, spines move. And then Boulder has the gimmick of when you push down on his tail, he headbangs. Individually, each little dino mode is pretty well detailed. I like Boulder a lot in dino mode. However, his transformation is really annoying. You are supposed to grab his front uh, shoulders here and then take the rear legs and spin them such that the dino feet move towards the head. But the amount of force required with this guy is kind of crazy because he unsnaps and then folds down and you stand him up. And that's it. That's his transformation. I don't like that transformation simply because of the amount of force that is required that I am required to provide in order to get him transformed. Chase's dino mode is okay. It kind of does look like a combination between uh, Chase's robot mode, kind of a little bit hunched over, and a dino bot or slag or not slag, snarl. I don't know. I'm, I'm not feeling this dino mode for some reason. I don't know what it is. It just feels like there's too much blue. While Boulder feels okay with all the different greens, there's not, at least to my old man eyes, doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of detail going on here. Chase's transformation is equally easy. You push down on the back on the uh, back dino legs and swing down the dino legs towards the tail. That will auto fold the dino head. And then you have, whoa, an unfocusing camera. And the transformation is easy, holds together well, and here is the robot mode. I find the robot modes on these guys to be a little lacking compared to Blades and Heatwave, simply because there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of detail. There's a lot of good molding, but not enough paint apps to really dis differentiate any of the parts. Overall, though, they're not bad, but I like Blades and Heatwave a little bit better, simply because Blades and Heatwave are just better looking, I think, in robot mode and in dino modes. I just, I just think they're better toys. That's not to say that these guys are bad or anything. I just like the other two better. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video review. As always, I am Bolt Matrix, asking you to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.